So what do you need? Hey, are there any more jobs for me? <laughs> There's always more to do around here. The city council election is coming up, and the leading candidate, Roy Cadwell, is a total loon. He wants to revoke permanent residency status from anyone who got it under the EU. Of course, only the richest will be able to reapply. Thousands of Londoners would be targeted for deportation. Sorry to say, Connie, but I don't think murdering this politician is going to save London or its immigrants. No, no assassinations. That would play right into their hands. Then what are you planning? Cadwell's old enlist digital rally is his last big push before the election. I'm thinking we dig up some dirt on him and sabotage his campaign. Solid plan. So how about I get the payment up front? Yeah, no. You'll get your payment after Cadwell's been humiliated. Rumour has it Cadwell's been making deals with the Kellys. If that's true, there'll be a money trail. Head to the Bank of England. I'm here. Great. Let's get that prick's transaction history. I'm sending you Cadwell's account history. Got it. I'll take a look. For now, get out of there. What? I knew it. Cadwell's been sending money to some private account. Must be the Kellys. If I can just trace the account number to find the associated optic ID and... Got it. 
I'm sending you the current location of that Kelly account holder. I'll head over. City Hall. This is where the host and Roy Cadwell's digital rally. And it looks like the optic you're tracking has an outgoing call to Cadwell. You may need to profile a few people to find the caller. That's Cadwell's caller. See if you can listen in. The order's coming in soon, and we need payment now. If no one for pay, I'm gonna have no problem walking in a city hall and telling them why you owe us money. Now? I can't. My live stream rally will start soon, and I can't just leave. Listen, if you just wait an hour, there's a big tip in it for you. Please. Can I just ask, what's the girl's name? You'll get her name when we get our money. And just like the last ones you purchased, she's a premium buy. I'll wait, but only an hour. And you better make that tip worth my while. Jesus. I thought he'd be buying drugs, not people. Well, at least we can show London just how much he values human life. The digital rally's kicking off. We need to upload that recording while everyone's watching. On it. Welcome, fellow Londoners. Thank you for tuning in. As I'm sure you all know, the City Council election is coming up soon. And it's important that each and every one of you gets out there to vote. Now, I understand that everyone feels a little on edge after the bombings that shook London. But I am here to tell you that I can make London safe again. The bombings have revealed to us just how vulnerable London is. We are vulnerable, but that is not to be confused with weakness. London is strong, and we will continue to be strong in the face of hardship. We really need to err on the side of caution here in these times of strife. We need to be mindful about who we put our trust into, which is why you can put your trust in me. Like most other citizens of London, I have nothing to hide. Search my optic, question my family, you will find that I'm just a Londoner who is concerned about the state that our city is in. If elected, our first priority will be, of course, solving our ongoing immigration crisis. But to be clear, I don't have anything against immigrants. Most of them are hard workers, just like us. But right now, we need to be more cautious than ever. The safety of London is, and will always be, the most important thing to us. So for not only the safety of London, but for the safety of our immigrants, anyone who obtained a permanent residency under the European Union will have it revoked. We left the EU for a good reason, and blindly trusting their immigration process isn't... That should do it. A little phone exchange is being broadcast on Cadwell's live stream. Served him right. I hated that prick before I knew he was purchasing people. I didn't realize I could hate him more. Government officials involved in human trafficking. I guess this city's in more shape than I thought. What? And suddenly you care about London? Come on, I'm not a monster. No one wants humans sold and traded like cattle. Except Cadwell. It's a good plan, Connie. I'll be seeing you. Cheers, mate. Hey, Connie. What do you got? Well, this live streamer called Phantom has been breaking into buildings owned by Sirs, Albion and the Kellys. And that's a bad thing? Well, no. But we could use him on our side. He has a... well, he can turn invisible. Hmm. Sounds like an acquaintance of mine. Well, then you should have no problem tracking him down. Let's meet this phantom in person, shall we? Yeah. I'll find him for you.
I'm sending you coordinates of three locations this phantom's hit, according to his podcast. See if you can find any connections between them. He podcasts about his b &Es. Yeah? Listen to this. Hey, oh, listeners, do I got a surprise for you? I'm hitting a rad's warehouse a little later, one of the big ones. And not only will you be able to listen in, but we'll play a little game too. Tune in in a few hours to follow along. See you then. So, is there something specific I should be looking for? Anything, really. There must be a reason he's breaking into these places. Hack into their servers, see if he's left a trail. And we'll see what I can dig up. All right, let's go. Phantom was here, and it sounds like he was looking for something. Well, that doesn't tell us much. Maybe you should go check out one of the other places he hit. See if you can find out what this Phantom is looking for. is Project Chiroptera. You fuckers can't hide this anymore. I know about the human test trials. Just because they sign a waiver doesn't mean you can freely torture them. Who? Who's there? Shut your face. Answer the question, asshole. I don't know what you're talking about. I swear, man, I'm just security. I found something. Our Phantom is looking for something called Project Chiroptera. Sound familiar? Project Chiroptera. Never heard of it. But I know someone who might have. I'll call you when I have more info. Project Chiroptera. My mate at Rad's tells me it's some classified ultrasonic tech that Rempart himself is involved with. Hmm. Do we have a way to track ultrasonic noise? Yes, actually. I'll send you this old Bagley script that allows your optic to work as an ultrasonic transducer. The script was written by Jackson a while back for another mysterious noise. It turned out to be some insect mating call, but that's not the point. So, follow the sound, find the source, and just hope we find the phantom there. Great. Sound frequency tracked. Your optic now displays your proximity to the sound source. When the number on your proximity tracker gets higher, it means you're getting farther from the sound. Ugh. The sound waves seem to be emitting from inside this building. It shouldn't be off. Fuck, 
awaits. Honey, I found something I can't see, but it's not moving. Decloaking now. Let's see what we got. Shit. The Phantom, he's dead. He was just a kid. Milo Chandra. I'm sorry, mate. I hate to be an Aiden Pierce about this, but you need to search him. Whatever he's got, we still need it. Searching for... I found something called an AR cloak. That must be the invisibility tech. You should get out of there. CPU temperature is dangerously high. Thanks, Aiden. I'll send you your payments. No, don't. We had a deal and I didn't hold up my end. You wanted to meet this kid and he ended up dead. Listen, Aiden. Milo's death isn't on you. If you don't want payment, consider this a gift. Fine. See you around, Connie. Hey, Aiden. I have a question. Go ahead. That weekend you took us all out to the country. When I was a kid. And on the way we got run off the road. I don't want to talk about this. About what? About the crash or about my sister? Look. Did you know those guys were after you? And that's why you took us? I'm not angry. I just want to know. You never said. Yeah. It was a mistake. I ran when I should have fought. I didn't commit to what I had to do. The man I had to be. I never made that mistake again. What about the mistake that got us there in the first place? Robbing whoever was you robbed? I don't know, Jackson. Same answer. You ever wish you'd committed to being that other guy? All the time. I got us a lead. Really? How? Oh. I figured Wrench wouldn't be the type to steer clear of the authorities for very long, so I went poking around in Albion's body cam archives. And look what I found. Look behind him. That's Brixton. And I don't see that drone he rides around on anywhere, which probably means he's close to home. Good eye. But not enough to go on yet. Even if you're right, he's too careful. And if we spend too long looking around, he'll notice and run. We have to narrow it down. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, I've got just the thing for that. I'm dropping you a pin. Start moving. Where am I going? Here. Watch this. Reports are coming in that a masked terrorist has set off a blast at a Rempart Automated Defense Systems facility here in the capital. 
Terrorism experts have identified the man pictured here as an American dead sec operative known as the Wrench. London's own dead sec cell was dismantled following their cowardly attack on the city less than a month ago. So now we must ask, has the Wrench come to London to finish what they started? He might have left something behind at the Rempart facility. Exactly. See what you can turn up. Hey, Jackson. If you had any more questions about anything that happened before, if that would help you, you can ask them. I do. Too many for right now, though. But would that help you? I think it might help both of us. Okay, well, let's try one out. Oh, God. Well, I've had a hard time remembering what things were like before it happened. Can't even remember what I was like. I was pretty young, but... Well, Mom always used to call me Aiden by accident. I guess we were a lot alike as kids. So maybe you were a bit like me when you were my age, too. Hmm. Guess I wasn't so bad then. Don't give yourself too much credit. I'm still better looking. All right, looks like I beat the rubberneckers at least. Probably not for long. You'll want to be in and out. What the hell happened here? It looks like he modified the robot's friend or foe identification. They just shot at anything that moved. Reckless. Look at this place. Civilians could have been hurt. Yeah. The sooner we find this guy, the better. I'll hack into their BIOS, dig through their data, and see if we can't find where they dump their camera logs. Copy that. You hear something? Now. Nothing on this one. Marking the camera log server. Let's have a look in there and see if any of these little guys caught a glimpse of the wrench.
All right, hack in there. Let's see what we can find. Shit. Looks like he wiped their cameras. It gets worse. You just tripped a script payload that locked you in there. What the hell? Hello, Thomas. Looking for this? <laughs> Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Sucks, right? Look, man, I know all about your little scam involving the Mark II's. All I gotta do is smash this thing, and you lose your company, and go to jail. Would you, though? I mean, sure, you'd probably get arrested, maybe even convicted. You'd lose some money, but you'd still be rich. So you'd do what? Four months? No. No, no, no. I didn't go through all this just to set you back. I want to fuck you the way you fucked me with a sandpaper condom on my fist. <laughs> So that's why I'm going to crush your whole business model instead. I'm going to reverse engineer this thing. And then I'm going to put your thought-controlled killbot design on the internet for free. That way, anyone who wants one can steal it. <laughs> Happy day. Yatta. Looks like Wrench left this as a trap for Rempart and I stumbled into it. I can't do anything from here. Give me a minute. I'll come help. No, don't. I can handle it. Just give me a minute. Let's get to work.
say, man. That guy in the video was like an internet troll crawled out of the internet. That's who we're chasing? He's a bit more dangerous than that. Do you see any clues to his location on that video? I'm scrubbing it now. No windows, no take out containers. Hang on. Yes! Is that? Yes! I got him! Really? How? You can start heading to Brixton if you want to get moving. I'll explain on the way. All right, tell me what I'm doing in Brixton. Go back and watch the video. Right in the corner of his workbench, you can see an Arduino board connected to one of his gadgets. Arduino? So he's controlling his gadgets with radio waves, probably through an optic. How does that help? It doesn't, unless you can get into high-frequency radio range. Then all you have to do is ping every nearby object. Whenever you have a high concentration of objects with a low-latency ping back, you've got a big collection of Arduino boards. And a whole arsenal of gadgets. And since we already know he's in Brixton... All you have to do is go there, and I can use the Arduino ping back to find his hideout. Great work, Jackson. So I've been thinking. When this is done, you and me should probably sit down and really talk about things. Sure. I'd like that. But I do have a question now. If that's all right. About Lena? No, it's that... Well, you don't look good, Aiden. I'm worried about you. When are you gonna stop all this? <laughs> Thanks. I keep trying to retire. Never takes. There's a lot of ways to help people. I've helped a lot of people, and I've never shot anyone. Can we talk about this later? Yeah, yeah. Just think a little bit about an exit strategy, okay? Because right now, every end of this thing I can see looks pretty bleak. All right, you're real close now. All those gadgets are routed through the local CTOS hub. Find the hub, and I can pinpoint the exact location. You got it. Mm. This whole area is wide open. That'll be a problem if he gets on that drone of his. Already on that. All the drones in London are on a CTOS air traffic control system. I just need to hack a local relay and reboot it. Should ground everything for a few minutes. It's not worth exposing yourself for. Rempart's still looking for you. Keep your head down. I'll be fine. Also, I left 20 minutes ago. So it's a moot point. Jackson, how's that drone controller coming? Jackson, come back. Where are you? That's it. I'm aboarding. Coming to you. No, no, no. Bad idea, bud. What the hell are you doing on this channel? I told you. When I found Jackson, I wanted you to see it, so you would believe me. Say hello to Uncle Aiden. I'm sorry, Aiden. I fucked up. Oh. Poor little cabbage. He'll be staying with me until you bring me the broker bridge. This makes your bargaining position clear, right? I've already found Wrench. I'll have it in 30 minutes. Good. Kill him, and I'll pay you a million dollars on top of giving Jackson back. I'm serious. Is this a meme? Look out for an intruder. Oh, fucking hell! 
mask, no wrench, just Reggie. Look, you can't give that thing to Rampart. Whatever deal you have with him, he's gonna try to fuck you over. <laughs> Believe me, I would know. He's not stupid, he knows who I am. He knew who I was too, that's why he was interested in my company. He said he read about my rumored dead set connections in a Wired article. You designed the robots. Yeah. I know robots, but he knew business. And he had this whole speech about space flight and human evolution and... and... I completely fucking fell for it. Yeah, I heard part of the story. So what? Now you want revenge? No. Well, yes. But mostly I'm just tired of fucking criminals and con men running the world. I don't know what I want exactly. I just know he can't win. 
Sorry, Reggie, I have no choice. For what it's worth, I spent my life fighting people like Rimpart. Doesn't work. So what? We're all supposed to just give up? No, you shouldn't. Some fights are worth losing. Rampart, it's me. I've got your broker bridge. Put Jackson on. Cool. He's right here. Aiden? I'm fine. Don't let this asshole tell you what to do. That's enough for now. You are so close to being through this, Aiden. Don't fuck it up. Thomas, I'm on my way. You're being very trusting. For all you know, I could be planning to kill you and your nephew. You said your people looked into me. What did they find? That there are a lot of stories about the fearsome Eden Pierce. Most people say that all the violence in Chicago was just a regular gang war. It got blamed on some boogeyman called the Fox. But having met you, I believe the myth. After Chicago, they say you went global for a few years. I found a few links between you and the murder of some warlords, blood diamond traders, dictators. A dozen more rumors of the same. And that brings us more or less to the present day. But what does any of this have to do with you walking in here and simply trusting me to honor our deal? Look at it this way. If even half of what you said is true, is crossing me really worth the risk? You know what? I agree. There's no angle in it. Bring me the broker bridge, and this is all over. All right. Here we go. Time to get Jackson back. Ah, you're here. Finally. I've ordered everyone to stand by. Your nephew and I will be waiting for you in my office. Good. Hand the broker bridge over and leave the premises. Once I verify it hasn't been damaged, I'll release your nephew. Not gonna happen. I'm leaving with Jackson. Stupid. I guess this means we're at an impasse, Aiden. Not for long. I'm coming in now. Jackson better be there. And he better be unharmed. Mr. Pierce, do you have it? We're going. No, no, no. Not before I confirm it works. It's OK, get up. Hello, Thomas. What? I've already said everything I need to say to you, so this is actually a message for Aiden. So there, buddy? What the hell is this? Hold on. Sorry, it's a quick one. Stop! <laughs> Go! Stop them! Go! Shit. Try the door. Locked. 
I can get it open. Give me a sec. Faster is better. The building's locked, Aiden. Give up, and I'll kill you fast. All non-combat personnel, please shelter in place. Now! Do it now! Thanks, Paul. The fucking panic room temperature is dangerously high. Oh, yeah. I don't care. Shoot it open if you have to. You little fuckers aren't getting out of here. It's open. Let's go. Jackson, are you hidden? No. Fine. Just keep your head down. Focus on me, all right? All right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on you. If you kill Aiden Pierce, I will double your salary. No, triple. Low, Jackson. Stay low. Keep your target small. I got it. Center of gravity over your hips. Keep your footfalls quiet. Yeah. Maybe we can find you a helmet. Aiden, you are making me less calm. Right. You're doing great. Shit. Are we stuck in here? Yeah. They're probably setting up another ambush. Well, what do we do? Do we go back? No. No, I think we turn out the lights. This used to be so much easier. You've done this before? Not exactly this, but close enough. What the fuck is that? What happened to the lights? No, I'll fix it, you fucking moron. Choke point coming up. No way around. Is that good or bad? Bad. They'll be waiting for us. So what do we do? Just keep your head down and let me handle it. And if it goes bad, then you run. If nothing hits your heart or your brain, you can usually keep running. So just run. Until you can't, all right? Yeah. I love those odds. Let's go. You little fuckers aren't getting out of here! That's right. Where did you learn that? And stay down. Oh, 
Supply overheating. That's right. Jackson, you all right? Still in one piece. Not my best day ever, though. Let's take a second. I want to have a word with Wrench. Bagley, dial him back. As you wish. Connecting. Aiden! Hey, you're alive! Again! What the hell were you thinking? I was thinking that you were Aiden Pierce, legendary badass. I knew you'd figure it out. And this way, everyone wins! Well, I mean, except for Rampart. He's dead. Not quite. You only winged him. Okay, okay, so not a total win. But still, like, an 8 out of 10. Rampart's all fucked up, and he's still gonna lose a bunch of money and go to jail. You almost killed Jackson. Oh. Fine. 7 out of 10. Can we discuss this on the way home, please? What are you talking about? What? You think I'd just leave you in the lurch? I'm down in the motor pool. Already got us some wheels. Just use the central elevator. Pretty sure the button says MP. All right. We'll be right there. Yeah, just barely. Do you have like a like a needle or something? Uh, uh, yeah. How's this? What are you doing? If he was just unconscious, he would still react to pain and sound. But he's not. What do you mean? He's like in a coma or something? Oh shit! How do you fix a coma? By taking him to a hospital. Where we'd be a rampart bait? Not an option. I know. Fuck! Okay. First thing, we need to stabilize him. He's lost a lot of blood. So I'm gonna need some bandages, iodine, and IV Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your roll there, Florence Nightingale. I'm gonna go get geared up, and then you can give me your shopping list. And where are you planning on getting that stuff? I don't know. Maybe I'll hijack an ambulance or something. Look, you stay here, you look after A, okay? And don't worry. Uncle Wright has got this under control. Ow! 
Fuck this. Care to dance? Lady Smash? All right, Ranch Jr., daddy's got to go to work. You be good. Mwah. Wrench, were you serious about hijacking an ambulance for supplies? Is this one of those questions with the right and wrong answer? I have a friend who can help us. She knows the city really well. Go talk to Connie first. I'll send you the address to her pub. Don't worry, man. I got this. I scoped out a hospital nearby already. Go meet Connie. The last thing we need is drawing more attention to ourselves and getting the cops or Albion involved. All right, all right, ye of little faith. You know, there is a world of difference between you and me. I was born to rule people like you. And you think you can ruin my face? <laughs> so you want chaos, huh? Great. Because of you, I realized I wasn't thinking big picture enough. You know, keep the broker bridge. Go fuck yourself with it. Because someone like me can do better than a cheap trinket. Someone like me gets to eat up little shits like you! Ha! You said eat shit. But I'll get back to you, Tommy. Gotta get that stuff for Aiden first. Focus, wrench. <laughs> 